Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now let's get back to drawing different geometrical shapes using one of these um, components inside the geometry box. So let's start with circle. So a quick recap, what is a circle? It is a combination of points such that every point is equidistant from the center. You take example of the bangle, which is in the shape of a circle, or you take the example of a, a wheel, which is again in the shape, shape of a circle. So here, if you look at it, you see that every point on this bangle is at the same distance from the center. And that is the basic property of circle. In fact, based on this, we define whether a particular shape is a circle or not. So that, that's the major requirement for a shape to be circle. Now we want to draw a circle. So let's see, how do we draw circle? Let's say that you have to draw a circle of radius 5 cm. Now what is radius? Radius is nothing but distance of any point on the circle from the center. So when you look at any circle, as I mentioned just now, that any point on the circle will be at equal distance from the center. So any of these and the, any of these distance is termed as radius. So we have to draw a circle of radius 5 cm. That means each point on the circle should be at a distance of 5 cm from the, ra from the center. So for that, what we do, first we take a ruler and you take a compass you measure a distance of five centimeters on the ruler so how do you make that measurement you put one end of the compass at the zero of the scale so just at the beginning of the scale you put the uh, metal tip end of the compass and then you change the angle of the two arms of the compass that is you widen the compass till it reaches 5 centimeters. So now this distance is nothing but 5 centimeters. So you have measured a length of 5 centimeters in the compass. Now what you do? Take this compass, you place it somewhere, anywhere you want. So this becomes your center and you just rotate it like this. So how much is this distance? So this total distance is 5 cm, right? So make sure that when you start drawing the circle, you do not alter the width of the compass. Do not alter the angle, existing angle between the two arms of the compass. So keep that the same. So with that same orientation, just rotate it from a point. So this point becomes the center of the circle. And this is your radius. Now, when you draw the circle like this, so every point on this circle is at a distance of 5 cm from the center. So we have drawn a circle of radius 5 cm. So yes, it is that simple to draw a circle of a given radius. So let's try this one. With the same center O, draw two circles of radii 4 cm and 2.5 cm. So let us first have a rough sketch in mind. So we, we have to assume that there is just one center. Let's call that center as C. And we have to draw two circles for the same center. Okay, the center is O. So one circle of radius 4 cm. So let's say that this is a circle of radius 4 cm and we have to draw another circle of radius 2.5 cm such that O is the center for that circle also. Now the, the radius of the second circle is lesser, it is 2.5. So the second circle would be somewhat like this such that this radius is 2.5 cm. So this is the construction that we are looking at. So what we do, again we take a ruler, we take a compass, first we measure 4 cm. So here you see, this is 0, this is 4, so this is 4 cm. So with this radius you draw a circle first, okay. So one circle is drawn, so this point is the center O. So you have drawn one circle such that the radius is 4 cm. Now for the second circle, you again using the compass measure a length of 2.5 cm here. So using the same radius, draw another circle here. So here you see that this pink circle drawn has a radius of 2.5 cm. However, both the pink and the blue circles share the same center that is O. 
Let's try this one. Let A, B be the centers of two circles of equal radii. Draw them so that each one of them passes through the center of the other. So you basically need to draw two circles of equal radii. That means the size of the two circles would be the same. So let's say that this is one circle with center A. This is another circle with center B. Now we have to draw the two circles in such a way that each one of them passes through the center of the other. That means this circle should pass through the center of the other circle. So this circle should pass through point B and this circle should pass through point A. So when is that possible? So if we draw two circles like this, is this circle passing through center B? No. Similarly, if we draw in this way, is this circle or is this circle passing through center A? No. So how can we draw this? Now if we draw it like this, so one circle in this fashion with center A and another circle which is passing through A such that its center is B which is lying on the first circle. So in this case you see circle with center A is passing through center B. Similarly circle with center B is passing through center A. So if we make a construction, construction like this, then we can satisfy the condition given in the question. And then it says that, okay, first let's draw these kind of circles. So first we have drawn one circle like this. We have drawn another circle like this. And how did we draw the second circle? So for the first circle, we have just taken any convenient radius and drawn a circle. So let's say when you draw the first circle, this is your center A. Perfect. Now when you draw the second circle, what do you do? Here in this case, you consider a point on this circle to be the center of the other circle. So you basically keep the tip of your compass here somewhere on the circle and you keep and when you actually measure the radius, so this is this would be the radius, right? So you when you place the compass like this, placing it somewhere on this circle and drawing another circle. So you would find that that other circle would pass through this point A. So this point is nothing but point B. So in this fashion, you can do this construction. Now you have to see that let them intersect at C and D. So these two circles are intersecting at these two points. So let us call these two points as C and D. So examine whether AB and CD are at right angles. So this is AB and this is CD. So you have to find out if these two are at right angles. So basically you have to find out if this is 90 degrees or not. So how would you find that out? Very simple using a protractor. So I, I told you just now, right, the protractor can be used to measure angles. So make use of a protractor, place it here and see if this angle is 90 degrees or not. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.